Hey everyone, welcome back to Ravencraft Magic. This is Tim Ravens, and this is another episode in the series of Planetary Magic. Know thyself, one of the main laws in magic. Um, one of the main things in astrology and planetary magic are keys to learning yourself. Um, learning what powers of influence the planets have over you and how you can empower them in times of need and how to become aware or be careful of any obstacles or problems you may face so you can complete or obtain a desired result for a more successful or happy life. You have to examine your dark sides and your good sides. You have to find out why they are what they are and what you can do to use them better or change them for the better. You have to know all aspects of yourself. And a key word I've been coming across lately um, is results. I mean, you have to examine and be aware of the results that you get from what you do. Um, for example, if you do a certain spell or ritual and you don't get any results or you get negative results, well, you don't want to repeat that. You might want to go back and recheck what you did or find out why this happened, but it's all about learning. It's all about knowing yourself. It's all in the experience of trial and error, you know. Um, the key thing, too, is your intent when you go into it, man. You have to really... Uh, go into it with a good intention if you want good things to happen, you know um, It really really depends on everything that leads up to that's that's what this whole key thing of Correspondence is it it really helps add things up and and align them in a certain way so it, it goes into a an easier path um, magic is said to take the path of least resistance so you want to make that path the least resistant as possible and include your willpower and all your humanly powers including your magic powers together to create your desired result see you can't just go into it because you think you did a spell or a ritual and think you don't have to put your will into it no that's not it that's the thing I like about magic. It teaches you that you need to incorporate your own willpower and your own self, including your magic. So it kind of teaches you the key thing that you need to know. Plus, you know, it teaches you the basics of life, of success and happiness, plus astrology and science and magic. So you just can't do some magic and think you can sit on your butt all day and you're going to get rich or get your job or whatever. You have to include discipline and self-awareness and potential into doing what you need to do and what helps you obtain these things and get these things done are empowering influences with planetary magic so now we're going to talk about Venus and all the influences and the correspondences that they have on you and your mind so Venus the second planet from the sun. Um, it is also the one of the brightest things in the night sky next to the moon. It's one of the brightest planets. Um, speaking of moons, Venus has no moons. And a day on Venus is equal to 117 days on Earth. Venus has a lot to do with what you desire, um, what results you want, um, what you need. So uh, Venus is also associated in magical working. Venus represents balance, love, peace, your desire. Um, Venus is also the expression of good intention, um, of forming of relationships, um, the love and beauty between the connection of two things, the idea of giving and receiving to create. But Venus is the feminine aspect of this connection. For these reasons, I like to associate Freya um, she is the goddess of love and beauty with Venus. Also, uh, of course, the Roman goddess Venus is associated with her. Now remember, all of these correspondences I'm listing here are to remind yourself that you have all of these intentions or energies inside you. And these correspondences and images and colors and things that relate to Venus are just relating to you and reminding you that you have all of this inside you and you can acquire this and 
put it into a positive motion such as color now this can be from anything to the colors of the clothes that you wear to remind you um, or the candle that you use in your spell work um, or any color that you see during the day to you know kind of remind you of your intention or that that energy that is related to your day the day it's often associated with is Friday and the colors are blue green and pink blue represents balance and magic um, I think of red or pink as passion or love and green I associate with nature or money and these all go along with or correspond with uh, the goddess Venus or the planet Venus which is love passion beauty and joy Venus brings out that passionate loving caring aspect of yourself and helps you work together with people to create harmony and is an aspect of your good intent which is really important in magic uh, is your intent you know you have to go into something with a good intent like I said before pay attention to your mind make sure you go into it with good intentions if you go into something with bad intentions you have to really pay attention to that because you can bring about bad results um, you know you can't go into something hating someone and doing something in magic or intent to hate someone it's not going to end up good um, you have to work towards the more now there's three sides to your mind or three faces we show you know the face we show in public to everyone we know and who sees us every day and the face that's inside your more subconscious face the face with the hate and the face that we try to hide and the bad things that we have inside third face is the result of the two faces that's your true face you know the result of your conscious and what your subconscious mind think believe and act so you have to make sure the way you're thinking and believing is positive if you're working towards a positive goal and these are all things that Venus influences the zodiac symbol that represents Venus is up on the screen now is often seen as the symbol for the female um, you see it sometimes on signs and stuff like that uh, the animal that's often associated is the raven or the dove and again representing the aspect of the unity of the two and the harmony between the two to create the flower associated with Venus is the rose representing passion and beauty and also the gemstone is the emerald also associated with riches or beauty or growth herbs or the scents you can work with that associate with Venus are lime saffron sandalwood or thyme these herbs are often associated or used for joy or passion or connection to the higher spirit okay now we have all these associations and correspondences with Venus and I kind of want to show you um, what I do with these correspondences and how I align them up to create a good positive working spell now you don't have to incorporate every single thing I list here I mean you can keep it simple to one or two things um, you know color God one of the main things you should really align is the day that corresponds with it and you work your way from there you know you start with the basics and then you start including more and more as you learn more and more um, there's a lot of stuff including planetary spirits um, a lot of sigils and different symbols you can inscribe on your candle here I have an example of a Venus candle you can see the zodiac symbol on there as well as a couple of runes I've inscribed onto it to correspond with it you can also rub herbs or oils into the inscriptions on your candle like I did here to make them show up better um, and then also when the candle burns you can smell the herbs and the incense so what I do then is take my prepared candle and set it on my altar and uh, think about my intent and my goal and light my herbs and my incense that correspond with it and once I have my intentions and my goals focused I light the candle and I let it burn all the way um, as you see it was kind of a small candle I like to just cut them in thirds kind of to, to save candles and sometimes you don't have a lot of time so um, I like to cut them small to, to make it rather a quick spell or 
you know, effectively finished spell. You can use this at the beginning of your day or at the end of your day. Um, I like to use it at the beginning of the day to empower my intents and my goals for the day. So that's pretty much it on Venus that I know of. Um, you got your correspondences. Uh, I gave you a little candle magic spell you can practice and work with and enhance. Um, it does get results. Uh, I actually had something happen recently where I used planetary magic to achieve a better job, a higher paying job that uh, goes better with my lifestyle. And I actually got myself a $2 raise and a better job. Um, I'm not saying it was just because of the magic, but um, I think it had a lot to do with it. Um, I did my, my magic and I worked my butt off to make it happen, you know, but I think the magic corresponded with my own personal actions to create this goal or this result. There's that word again, this result that I intended to happen. All right. Thanks everyone for tuning in to my episode. Um, I also have a new friend I want to mention. Um, he's a very smart guy to the point. He has a YouTube channel as well called Through the Lattice. Um, he does a series on planetary magic as well. Um, he's a smart guy. He's very responsive to any questions. Um, he's part of the supporting of spreading knowledge. Um, he is completely positive and helpful. Um, I think he's going to do some good things. So uh, I'll put a link up to his website and I want you to kind of watch him too because like I said before I don't want you to just watch me and take my view on this you got to take all the other views that are out there because there is a lot and you can take all those views and information put them together to create your own view and you know you create your own understanding you have now made it to the next step and my friend you can join us on our path to educate and inspire the rest of the world Thanks everyone. This is Tim Raven with the Ravencraft Magic Channel. I'll see you next time. Stay on the positive path.